Welcome friends, this is Arcade Night, and today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and modify your own custom companions in any Mountain Blade Warband mod. And let me tell you guys, the most common question I get on my channel is, hey Arcade, how do you make all those unique companions? How do you make your son in 1257 AD? How do you make your brother and sister in the Clash of Kings series? Well, let me tell you, friends, I'm going to show you how to do that today on this episode. So I want you to sit back and relax. I want you to grab your tasty beverage, and I'm going to show you how to expand your warband experience. There are two ways in most mods which work for modifying companions. Now, it's really frankly dependent on which mod you're playing, which system works best. Games like 1257 AD and the Flores Mod Pack and A Clash of Kings have the most options for modifying your companions. Unfortunately, games like Native Warband, uh, Leglay, and Nova Atis are less customizable because they don't have an export companion option in the camp menu. Now, I'm going to show you exactly what that means in a second. But first of all, I'm in the A Clash of Kings mod version 2.0. And uh, like I said, this will work for any of Clash of Kings version, 1257 AD, any version of that, any Flores mod pack, and, and any mod that works with the Flores mod pack, or any uh, mod that has these options in the camp menu, which when we get to the camp menu, we'll talk about that. But first of all, guys, let's get right to it. Let's go ahead and get a companion. That's the first thing we need to do when we go ahead and customize one. We need to actually get one. So let's grab Sir Felton Flowers, and we're going we're gonna to change him up. We're going to upgrade him. We're going to make him a unique companion. Let's go ahead and grab him. So now that we have Sir Felton Flowers in our group, let's get out of here. Let's leave and make sure he's here. So there we have Sir Felton Flowers. Here's what Sir Felton Flowers looks like. So we're going to change his appearance completely. We're going to change his name. And of course, guys, we can go ahead and pick up equipment and change the way he looks from an equipment standpoint. But let's go ahead and do that now. So the first thing we need to do is... We need to go ahead and save this game. So I'm going to save this game. And we need to escape it. Because we need to go ahead and modify some files in the game. So let me escape the game, guys. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. Okay, now we're down to the real important details of editing the files in the game. Now, guys, what I like to do is I want to make sure that before I start editing files, I make a backup copy. Now here's what I do, because I mess with the Mountain Blade directory so much, I make a shortcut to my desktop. But let me show you where it is. If, if you go into your file manager and you go to your local disk and you go to your program files, it'll either be in Steam and then you'll find the Mountain Blade files through Steam, or since I don't work through Steam for Mountain Blade, I have it right here, Mountain Blade Warband. And then if you look into Mountain Blade Warband, this is the important folder the modules guys when you click on this folder these are all the different modules um, that you have in your game so when you click on your launcher right and here these are the exact same listings in this launcher that are in this folder right so what I'm looking for is a clash of kings 2.0 so here it is now when I go into a clash of kings 2.0 I'm looking for a very specific file and that file is called troops dot text right and that is in the, the main directory guys once you click on a clash of kings 2.0 you don't have to go any further just go pretty much all the way down and you'll see troops dot text so i'm going to open that up now here's one thing you got to make sure you have you have administrative access so you can edit this file so the way to make sure you can do that is go ahead and right click on this file click on properties guys and then when you click on security you can see all these different options right different administrators so just make sure that you have the option to write and have full control on every single one of these right if you don't go ahead and click on one click edit go ahead and make sure you can write it and modify it click apply and then you're ready to go so guys let's edit the troop files now this is don't worry don't get scared one thing you probably want to do is go ahead and make a copy of this and just go ahead and paste that copy to your desktop so you know you have it just in case you screw up you can always replace it now it's so simple guys though once you open this folder or open this file I should say these are all the various troops that you have in the game 
right? All the various troops. So here's the name of the troop, how the game recognizes it. And this is various coded information that tells the game different things about that particular troop. Now, also in here is all the lords in the game as well as all the companions, but there's just infinite amounts of information. So how am I possibly gonna find Sir Felton Flowers and all of this? Well, you go to edit, you go to find, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're just gonna type in uh, Felton, and we're gonna say next, and boom, look at that. We found Sir Felton Flowers. Also, what we found is all the other companions. This is basically all the companions are grouped together. Now we want to change Sir Felton Flower's name. So uh, let's just change him. Hmm. What are we going to change him to? Well, how about we just change him to, because I always create a son or a brother in my game. Let's just change him to Arcade Son. Just like that. Now here's the deal, guys. Whenever there's, you know, two words, you need to make sure that you do an underscore in between those words to make sure that there's a space to recognize. If you don't do that, you'll have errors in the game. So you see there's always a space between the words. Now I need to do the same thing for over, over there on this side. You need to mention it twice. Now what I like to do is just kind of control C and then highlight the complete secondary plus control V and then that way I know that I don't have a spelling error. It's exactly the same. And there you go. Arcade Sun, Arcade Sun with an underscore. I'm going to go ahead and press save now if you go to press save here and something happens where it doesn't let you overwrite the file well the problem is that when you went and you right clicked and you did one of these security permission things you did not do it correctly so go back and check there and make sure you have that permission okay guys so now that we've done this now we can go back into the game and we can start really messing with the character so let's let's start the game back up guys and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about Okay, now that we have edited the troop file, now we got to do some editing in the game. Now, remember I told you the camp menu, certain games like 1257 AD and A Clash of Kings have more options than other games like uh, Nova Adis and Lake Lay and the Native Warband mod? Well, this is what I mean. If you go to the camp menu, uh, there should be an option in here, most of the time in the take an action uh, section, to where you can export and import character history. So when you go in there, what you need to do is find Sir Felton Flowers. Now, now sometimes, guys, when you go in here, you'll find the name of the character that you've already changed. Sometimes it'll say Arcade Sun. Sometimes it'll still say Sir Felton Flowers. I don't know how the game recognizes it one way or another, but you definitely have to change him twice. And this is the second way you have to change him. If you go ahead and click on Sir Felton Flowers and you press C, the C key, we get to his actual character file, right? And when we get here, what you need to do is go ahead and go to the statistics. And then you want to export the character. Alright, so this will export the character to where you can actually do some editing to the actual character file itself. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to press done. Now that I'm going to press done, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and press Alt-Tab, in case you didn't know this, and this will let me get to my main screen to where I can actually start editing that particular companion file now the way to do that is you need to go to your file manager and in, especially in Windows 8.1 the file manager you can find by just right clicking here and going to the file explorer or I have a handy dandy, handy dandy folder right here now what you're looking for is your documents folder now in this documents folder you'll have a couple of important warband folders the save game folder, which you don't have to worry about, and this one called Mountain Blade Warband. When you open this up, it has some other important documents in here. And the most important folder is this characters folder. Remember when we just exported Sir Felton Flowers? Well, he went into this folder. So let's find Sir Felton Flowers, which is, where is he? Sir Felton, here he is. And this is all the various characters and companions I've exported and been playing around with. But there's Sir Felton Flowers, so I'm going to double click on him. And here he is. Now what we need to do, guys, is we need to edit his name here so the game recognizes him as Arcade Sun or Arcade Sun. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in Arcade. And then just like in that other file, we need to keep this underscore. And then, guys, what you can do is you can completely edit him as much as you want here. You can edit his strength, intelligence, charisma. You can, you know, all the stats can be edited from this character file. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press save. And I'm going to close this out and I'm going to go back into the game. 
Um, and guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on him one more time and press C, and there he, he comes up. And I'm going to now import the character. Yes, I sure do. And now, guys, he is now Arcade Sun. Now, there's one last thing we need to do before he's completely customized out. We need to change his appearance. So when you're in this screen, go ahead and click on the actual character. And this brings you up to this screen to where you completely can edit him just like you can edit your own character. So let's just randomize him, find something that looks kind of unique and interesting that we can definitely see. Yeah, this, uh, this guy looks completely different. All right, we're going to go ahead and say done. And look, there he is. So go ahead and press done. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to my camp menu. I'm going to resume traveling. And guys, look, Arcade Sun. Let's talk to him. And there he is with the red beard. There's Arcade Sun. Guys, and that's how you do it. That's how you make a custom companion in Mountain Blade Warband mods. Now, the only difference is for some of those other mods, like I was telling you about, like Legle and Nova Atis and Native, as far as you can go, as you can go into the text file and edit the name. Um, but as far as exporting the character and doing a lot of changes that lets you, uh, that, that you can do from this camp menu, well, unfortunately, those mods don't offer that option. So the best you could do is just go to the troops text file in that particular mods folder, edit the name of that particular companion. But that's unfortunately as far as you can go in those particular mods. But guys, that's it. It's really that simple. Just make sure you back up all your files when you do it. Just make sure you be safe about it. And everything will be fun and you will enjoy your Warband experience even more. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this how-to video. If you enjoyed this how-to video, if you enjoyed expanding your Warband experience, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, guys, if you want to see more videos like this, more how-to videos on how to change your Warband experience and mod it and make it customizable just for you, let me know in the comment section and hit that like button as well. Guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.